Zoom to speak on her journey to Miss World. Leonie, good evening and welcome to the Daily Roundup. Good evening, Nina, and good evening to all the viewers. Just to start with, Leonie, uh, let's uh, get to know you a bit. Who is Leonie in a nutshell? I am a 26-year-old human resourcing managing assistant at the Swakopmund Station Hotel and Entertainment Center. I am a small business owner of Alar Beauty, which specializes in hair and makeup artistry, as well as the distribution of professional makeup products. I am the proud founder of Alar Youth Support, where our main, main focus is to bring unity within our communities. Awesome. We'll get back to you being the owner of LR Youth Support and, and what activities you undertake and teach. Uh, but talk to us about how your journey as Miss Namibia First Runner App uh, has been. It has most definitely been an adventure and with any adventure there do come challenges along the way. But with that said, since the announcement from the Miss Namibia organization, we have been working extremely hard to ensure that all preparations and requirements to represent Namibia internationally is in order and that me myself as an individual is also prepared not only in a physical perspective, but a mental perspective as well. Looking at the responsibilities that comes with being, uh, in, you know, in the position that you've been crowned with, what are some of the challenges that you've come across thus far? And also talk to us about how you've managed and overcome them. I will have to say my biggest challenge thus far has been time management to give my full attention to work, running a small business, and my pride and joy assisting with LR Youth Support has been challenging at times, and most definitely then one has your personal life, your friends, your family, and loved ones. I would say for the future to prioritize and make sure that one falls in within time frames to get everything that is done, and at the end of the day, enjoy each experience Experience that this journey has yet to offer. You mentioned earlier that you, the founder, CEO of LR Youth Support. Talk to us about this foundation and, and what it is that you do and, and what your aim is. LR Youth Support is my nonprofit charity organization, Leonaira Norte, my two names, which is dear to my heart and it's something that is exactly linked with me as an individual. Our aim for the future is to ensure that we find means of sustainability for other nonprofit charity organization founders and help them keep up the good work that they've been busy with. And we've been most fortunate to be able to spread our youth support within the Irong region, now assisting with various feeding projects, requirements of children with school and basic needs in Henty's Bay, Swakopmund, as well as Walpus Bay, where we have been able to touch numerous lives of our less fortunate communities. All right, that sounds fantastic. Miss World is around the corner, Leonie. How are preparations uh, going? This far preparations is going extremely well with the information that we have at hand. We are still waiting for some information from the Miss World organization. But since September last year, when the public announcement has been made, we've been preparing, ensuring that all the requirements are set in place. And I'm a firm believer in preparation is key. And with that said, we are aiming for perfection, not only to make myself proud, but to make Namibia proud as well. To be able to attend a, you know, a beauty pageant of this standard uh, requires, as you said, a lot of planning and also, of course, a lot of sponsorship because it does quite cost, uh, cost quite a penny. Uh, so talk to us about that and, and how you've managed you know, to get the funds and sponsorships to be able to attend and attend successfully with no hiccups. I personally believe that for your vision and goal, you need to make that vision and goal a reality for sponsors and 
future sponsors as well. So for me, personal meetings and interviews with fellow sponsors are very important. Um, unfortunately, we are sitting in a very rough economic situation currently. And um, within Namibia, we have various challenges that we are facing and business owners are facing as well. And me being a small business owner, I fully understand where they are coming from. But this doesn't limit me. I still strive to prevail and oversee these op these obstacles that we face from a financial perspective. But for the future, if you can truly portray the vision that you have and going forward, um, companies and fellow sponsors will see that vision for the future as well. You mentioned that you're in HR. You obviously spoke about uh, the nonprofit organization that you have. You're a business owner. So when and how did you get into pageantry? How did that, that start for you? Pageantry has always been a lifelong dream of mine to represent my country on an international platform starting in 2013 when I have competed in my first pageant where I won. And my first um, professional pageant was in 2017 when I competed in Miss Namibia. And it has taken me six years to end up where I currently am right now, which I'm truly grateful for. But with that comes the understanding of it's not as easy as, as one might think. And with the first uh, try, you will not reach everything that you have set out, but that's where perseverance, dedication, and self-motivation -mot comes in to never give up on your goals and to know that anything is possible if you set your mind to it. And how has been, you know, how has being the Miss Namibia first runner-up enhanced uh, your life, Leonie? I would most definitely say things have gotten a bit more time consuming and having been employed full time, uh, sometimes it does catch me a bit off guard, but I, in moments like that, I remind myself of why it is that I entered Miss Namibia and I'm most fortunate to live out my dream and be able to go and represent my country on an international platform to bring awareness to various factors that we have within Namibia, not only our vibrant cultures, but our dynamic landscape as well. So for me to be able to do this, I would most definitely give everything I have and my utmost best for what is here to come for the near future. You're the only beauty queen left that is, uh, you know, that needs to represent our country on an inter at an international pageant. Do you think the pressure is, is on for you and how are you dealing with this pressure? To be honest, I have only received support, love and warm wishes from everybody that surrounds me and everybody that's on me with this journey. I think the most pressure comes from myself, but I feel that's of great motivation as you need to know what your capabilities are and try to reach those capabilities and ensure that you give everything you have. So for the future, whatever happens, you know within your heart that you gave everything you had and that would always be more than enough. The Miss World pageant takes place in May this year. What are you most looking forward to? Most definitely to be able to travel. I love traveling and to the places where I travel to, to represent my country and show everything who I am and what I represent and what it is Namibia has to offer and that we are most definitely of competing level to other countries as well. Fantastic. Leonie, thank you so much for taking time out to speak to us this evening. All the best uh, with the uh, you know, preparations as you gear up for uh, Miss World uh, 2022 or three. 2023 of this year. Thank you so much, Leonie. Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening.